This one is kind of an interesting one just because of how I found it. It's not something that you think you can very often find at markets, but it is edible and it was actually just growing in the yard of the Airbnb that I'm staying at. It is this guy. Check this out. This is a really uh, bizarrely shaped fruit. It looks like a little cup. Looks like if you took like a lemon or something, you just sliced it in half, but that side of it is solid. I've never seen a fruit that had this kind of weird shape to it. The uh, guy who owns this Airbnb, I asked him what this was called, and he said it's called uh, Land Eggs. I looked that up on Google and it didn't come up at all. Egg fruit comes up. This is definitely not egg fruit. But yeah, after doing a little bit of asking around on different fruit websites and stuff like that, I found out it is actually Pereschia bleo, which is actually a cactus. And what's interesting about this particular cactus is that it's really, really big. It looks like a gigantic tree. Actually, when I saw it, I thought it was a tree until I got close and I saw there were little spines all over it. It doesn't look like any cactus fruit that I've seen, and it doesn't look like any cactus, like, plant that I've seen. It's very, very bizarre. It goes to show how it can pay off just uh, keeping your eyes open when you're traveling because a bizarre fruit like this will very often show up not at the supermarket but as an ornamental or like growing wild or something. Hmm. Interesting. It's uh, just kind of like juicy on the inside. The inside doesn't look too different from like a cactus, I guess. But the uh, seed here is kind of neat. Let's get that guy out. Seems like there's a few of them in there. Small and round, a little flat. What's interesting is it's kind of slimy. Alright, so let's get this get off my finger. Get off. <laughs> okay, it's very gluey in there. I can't, it will not get off my finger. Ugh. Oh, great. And I'm not sure if you can eat the outside or not, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to start with just the center. Um, initial taste, this thing is sour. It's not sour to the point where, like, I can't eat it, but it's very sour. Ooh. The sourness, like, dissipates rather quickly, but it is strong. It like starts out probably like a, like a 9 out of 10. If 10's a lemon, it's not quite a lemon, but it's close. And then it quickly goes down to like like a 7 or something. It just tastes kind of like pure sourness. There's not like a whole lot to the fruit itself. The sweetness is very low. It's maybe like a 1 or a 2 out of 10. And I'm getting a little bit of the sliminess, but not that much. I'm gonna eat a, a bit of the skin and see if that helps me figure anything out. Skin is fine. It doesn't taste uh, like it's inedible or anything. But it doesn't really change the flavor. Okay, so if I were to break this down flavor-wise, it tastes something like a green mango Star fruit, maybe a little bit like the loquat. It doesn't taste like any cactus fruit that I've had. Um, even though this is a cactus, it doesn't taste like the tuna or any of those other varieties I've had. The texture of it is um, dense, but also juicy. It reminds, it's like a little bit jelly-like. This is something that's good, like if you want, something that's gonna pack a little punch. If you're, if you're the sort of person who can eat a lemon and enjoy it, just like on its own, you'd like this. Uh, if you like amberella fruit, you'd like this. If you like sour mangoes, you would like this. This is uh, definitely in that camp of uh, fruits that are for people who like sour things. Which, um, yeah, I'm kind of one of those people, but um, it's also like fairly simplistic. So it's the sort of thing like, if I saw this at the market, I wouldn't like go out of my way to buy it. But um, if I knew where a tree was, if I had it growing in my yard, then I would pick it up. 
It does have the name rose cactus because the the plant produces these uh, flowers that are similar to roses. So uh, it's probably be a good ornamental that also produces a fruit. And the fruit are very cool looking. I love that shape to it and everything. They look almost like little flowers themselves. So um, yeah, I think that this would be a good one if you want something that looks really cool, but also has a fruit that you can eat. Maybe not the best fruit in the world, but something you can totally do something with. So really glad to get a chance to try this thing, and it just kind of goes to show that uh, if you keep your eyes open while you're traveling around, you can come across cool things that are just out in nature. This isn't something I think I would find at a market very easily, but in someone's yard, totally makes sense. So I'm um, glad to try it, and I will see you next time. I want to give a special shout out to Altpod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.